Santiago Espitas from Ambungdulan Tublay Binggit. I am the former Private Robert Kiban Belasi. I hail from Atok Binggit. So my name is David Losnog. Except me, uh, Raimundo Gangad, uh, Tagatumay, La Trinidad. That time, before the war here in the Philippines, we were very, very happy people. Uh, the situation in the Philippines city, talagang uh, natal na, naraksak na titaw. Because everything that we need are all there, plenty. We have enough food in everything. Before the outbreak of the war, I was enrolled in St. Louis School. At that time, you can walk around here at night. 24 hours a day, and you won't be bothered because Baguio was a peaceful city. May sama tamog dito ito lang yung Benitez Court, na Japanese school di jadi na na upandag school lati hapon kuyo ganti teacher dahi da kompleto ti uniform uniforms da nagpinta sa pagkanta da pa yung pan nagiskul la. Disiplinado lang ako dito hapon. Maki at trabaho yung Minas, mostly. Yung Minas, yung Sumil, kati Daguma, farmers. Tapos yung mati ko, agro-grubi, hindi ti, dati pinagburmo na ti ko, natang. Here in Binget, mining operations were bustling. Uh, there were also lagging concessions, and so probably the Filipinos in general have learned to live peacefully with the Americans. In the morning of December 7, 1941, Japan made a sneak attack at the heart of the U.S. Pacific fleet guarding the Far East and beyond. Mr. Vice President, Mr. Speaker, members of the Senate and of the House of Representatives, yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Yesterday, the Japanese government also launched an attack against Malaya. Last night, Japanese forces attacked Hong Kong. Last night, Japanese forces attacked Guam. Last night, Japanese forces attacked the Philippine Islands. Last night, the Japanese attacked Wake Island. And this morning, the Japanese attacked Midway Island. Japan has therefore undertaken a surprise offensive extending throughout the Pacific area. December 8th, the next morning, Camp Tianhe was bombed while we were in school having our flag ceremony. A squadron of, of planes flew over the city. After that, we heard an explosion. I was standing here training the ROTC boys and the women's auxiliary. 
And then suddenly the plane 17 came from there, about 5,000 feet high. And we started clapping because we thought they were American plane and they flew over. The moment they were right above SM, we saw bomb being dropped. And then we heard the bursting of the bomb. Three bursts. Boom, boom, boom. When we heard that bomb, we thought it is the practice of the American. And we were all stunned. Then we realized that the planes were not Americans. Later on, in the afternoon, we heard that it, is the, it was bombed by the Japanese. The next morning, the United States Congress declared war on Japan. I ask that the Congress declare that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. Uh, the war broke out when it is not yet declared. They did not declare war before entering, before invading the Philippines. That is what we know. Sanga nakasagana the Philippines. War materials come to the Philippines at the Palang Ejai Hawaii. So they've been moving Ejai. So the following day, there is an order that will have no class already. So we are wondering why, uh, what is that Japanese? We do not know what is enemy. And the next day, we came back here to train the ROTC, but there were many males who wanted to join in as volunteers. So we grouped them in, uh, drilling units without any arm. The next day, some were using a, a, a broom handle or a brand of a tree for a rifle just doing uh, drilling. The Japanese began landing in the Philippines. After landing in the, at the Lingayen Gulf, they made a great advance so that on December 23rd, sometime December 23rd, they were already in Baguio. Colonel Horan, the commanding officer of the 33rd Infantry Station at Kamjanhe, declared Baguio as open city. When the Americans uh, learned that the Japanese had landed in Lingayen and were coming up to Baguio, all the Americans, including other foreigners, went to Brent School and they stayed here until the Japanese entered Baguio. And they were interned here at Brent School for a while, and then they later were transferred to Camp Janhe with the Chinese because they needed more room. Uh, second year, after fourth year, ag volunteer da, uh, ag soldado. By that time then, all graduating students, junior and senior students, were called to go down to defend Bataan. And so in 1935, when the Commonwealth Republic of the Philippines was uh, finally established, I, Manuel Luis Quezon, hereby solemnly swear that I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill my duties as President of the Philippines. And I hereby declare that I recognize and accept the supreme authority of the United States of America 
in the Philippines and will maintain through faith and allegiance there too. So help me God. Uh, with uh, Quezon, Manuel Quezon as our president, General Douglas MacArthur was immediately ordered to proceed with the training of Filipinos and with Americans so that these forces or these armed forces who were preparing for a war would soon be called the United States Armed Forces in the Far East. When we joined the guerrilla forces, that is my capital. Without attending the training, I, you do not know what you are doing during the guerrilla time. By Christmas, Japanese invasions had been made at nine points in the Philippines. And the campaign to seize control of this important strategic area was well underway. Corregidor in Manila Bay was the last outpost to resist the Japanese invaders of Luzon. In mid-March, with the enemy in control of almost all of Luzon, General Douglas MacArthur, the American commander, left the island on orders from Washington and assumed new duties in Australia. For almost a month, the Japanese bombarded the island fortress with every weapon at their command. Finally, on May 5th, 1942, Japanese assault units crossed the narrow channel separating Luzon from Corregidor and stormed the rock's sturdy defenses. After nearly 24 hours, fighting on the island steep on May 6th. This is Third Channel, J.M. Wainwright. To fully stop to further useless sacrifice of human life on the fortified islands, Yesterday, I tendered Lieutenant General Congress, the Commander-in-Chief of the Imperial Japanese Forces in the Philippines, the form of surrender of all American and Philippine army troops in the Philippine Islands. This decision on my part, you will realize, will force upon me by me entirely beyond my control. After the capture of Corregidor, the Japanese quickly gained control of all the Philippines. But many of them escaped in Bataan. So they were the earliest uh, guerrilla members. In the December 1941, the evacuation of civilian and uh, soldiers from uh, Pakistan to the north. Those Philippine army and Philippine scouts in Camp Janhe who did not enter Bataan and Corregidor in 1941 went up to the mountains, entire mountain province, in here in Bingit. So they then adopted a karasangpat na na tusugway. They organized guerrilla units. In June 1942, Mark organized the Jai Levin Infantry, Jai Itugun. Captain Baldwin, who escaped from Bataan, organized the Levin Infantry in Itugun. Jakarau, so mati nak tarian lagi jah Moses kene Nobel. Jai mati agur organis agur organis dari jai pekwa twelve infantry. Then Parker Carbert organised the forty third infantry in Samlan and Kapangan. Yang ni melintas ar sibut ngar OTC ini. Jai tinak diputan na Jakarau. Desde el sitio, Sajos, Calabucos y Ugos, 
Ni dangwa na independent nga garilya ni dangwa idi independent midi na indak ni molintas nak puron nak konferensi ada Mr. Dennis Molintas a reserve officer from the Philippine Army Mr. Badu Dangwa Eugene Badibal Alessandro Marquez Morris Pianza meet at Ambangig Bukod and agreed to organize an underground movement to help fight the Japanese invaders. Molintas, Dangwa, and the others meet with Colonel Martin Moses and Arthur Noble, a U.S. Army officer who escaped from Batan and found their way to being in the province of Bingit. Molintas was commissioned as First Lieutenant Lardisabal, as First Lieutenant Maurice Pianza, as Sergeant Alessandro Marquez, as Second Lieutenant, and Badu Dangwa was inducted as Provisionary First Lieutenant. The reason was that he is a civilian. The Dangwa ide, talagang nagtaray ta Kwan tud ni Dangwa berbero kanti hapun in tud na amin ti basis na kung nada nga no aksublika e man e manis mo data kumpanya masuldang kati ko dakil kano ati ko suldu na kuma ngay tud ti hapun ang anak sa surrender di na bayog nga berbero kanda isudaya dead or alive no sunupi ko may tud na ti dakil nga korta yung Amun ti ko ito binggit talaga nga nakooperate itaw awan ti aksasaw. Tanidang wa iso ti regimental supplier ni Molintas iso ti commander ti infantry. Di 1943 ma-organize di Burumin kat siap ti Maysa. So nga nukas may gano'n ito ay ag-alos. Nung ag-alos kami manan, di ito ay mapiyar lang at ako ti alos ni. I joined and was inducted into the guerrillas on October 1, 1944 in Mountain Province. Our unit engaged in combat operations against the Japanese, and we took charge and care of the sick and wounded soldiers. We get our food through the voluntary contributions of the uh, townspeople. <laughs> So nga pa nga si Teo Kuma, noawan da kita civilians, apaya da tayo nga tatatapa lang. Supplies manan, di gijay amok nga mapiyan, iso lang ti apang ko alusun. Yalang-alang tayo nga da kita civilians, ti mga ititad ti supply. Iso nga respetuan tayo iso da. Da giti commanding officers, kan collecting officers, agaramid kayo iti resibo. Ito nga resibo, no maadati agi donar iti supply, ilistayo na ita, isurat yu iti resibo. Isurat yu iti resibo nga jay, no manu na ita, o no may sakilo, ilistayo. Importante na gyay. Importante matla nga ibagayo iti si sibilyan tayo, nga idulin da pa iti nga resibo. Tanumal pa siti gubat, sa tunto mabayadan matla. Nawatan tayo kumadi. Okay. Salamat. In the reorganization sometime in 1944, the 43rd Infantry organized by Parker Colbert was designated as the first battalion. The 11th Infantry organized by Captain Baldwin in Itugun was designated as the second battalion. Third battalion organized by Nolintas and Langwa was designated as the third battalion. 66 Infantry 
United States Armed Forces in the Philippines, Northern Luzon. The following units, 11th Infantry PA, 12th Infantry PA, 43rd Infantry PS, Philippine Scouts, formed the 66th Infantry Radio Band. So the U.S. Army officers having a problem on how to recognize the three companies. Then the remedy was that they got the total of 43 plus 12 plus 11. The total is 66. That is how the 66th Infantry was, uh, was born. Tati Kunada, the tayo, mangan kanai tayo kan inibaloy tayo mat. Kahit masapol kiti nga tutulong tayo, tap no, may may sa, titulong tayo. All these units, the 11th, the 12th, the 14th, the 15th, the 66th, were all called Yusakit in in under the command of Colonel Bokman. In 1944, so the day when I was a little older, nga masapul nga si kanga garilla ang kanga pagpakita matan tap no hampi mga kakasiti civilian defensive pikit mga saon palang dagiti pa in 1944 defensive because I have a older brother who is a trainee who went to Putaan. When the Japanese came to our house at Tublai, because of my brother was has been a trainee who was trained, he left his uh, uniform, kaki, at home. The Japanese were able to found it. Try to put on that pants. It is very big because my brother is big, very tall and very big. So it is very wide. So they went away. following day, they came again. Now, near uh, houses were telling and shouting to us that the Japanese is coming to you and pick you up. Japanese had been shooting me, but I am going down be below the creek. So I was not shot by the Japanese. After that, I am looking where to hide. And I learned that uh, 
major uh, Badudangwa was had organized already a guerrilla. Guerrilla. The 12th Infantry. Now, that's where someone, my cousins and my close uh, neighbors, accompanied me and reported to where they are hiding. Yang ko kumun mang guerrilla? Instead, you are you are still young. Said by Major Dangma. Pensyak pati ni hapon. Kon siya ay sahaya ka guerrilla. But there is uh, an officer who know me. Sir, guerrilla man lang ti panagkita di hapon kanya kana. Mabalang tayo man lang iso ng alahan sir ta. Patayin din tumot lang. But his it is very young. He's only 15 years old. So... Mabalang tayo man may adjust iti taon na nga itin. And the secretary of uh, Major Dangma told him that we will add his uh, age as 18 years old. We will change his birthday in date. So we make it that my age already is 18. They added three years. So I was inducted already. Sabagay, uray ubing. Mabalinte yung ako. It's patrini. Iso nga ibagamton ta ipalistada tinaga na sa ato makitrin ng nubigat. Nga, kung tayo sa tikusta na rito, ano yung mga panak sumalog? Hindi ko ang tinulain na ka no. Tinulain ni Dangma Isuda. Una na nga, amo yung dito yung bubat, tawid dito eh. Fifty-fifty. Fifty person kung tayo hapon, fifty person na kada tayo. Masapul nga, Mumatok tayo tayo porsinto. Masapon nga darasun. Nga apay nga agsundado tayo. Di ko ating udo na kanoy yemesa. Sika. Apay nga agsundado ka. Di ko na kanoy yemesa. Pinata pinatay mo tayo hapon tayo tatangko. Kuna na kano. Ado nga rasun. Kano. Idinalbas nga ka. Kuna na kano ni Dangwa nga Dito ay 75 percent tayo. So nga adaro bang tayo nga aksoldado? Um, Pangpangas yun. Yung apaltugan yun, dahil yung dalang tibasun na. San yung apaltugan yun, dahil yung tibasun na. Kung nanak ano. Hindi gusto nga padami si training may yung jungles between uh, Tagwa uh, Bagulin and Kapangan. Naurnong tatatang malam. Kat amok nga sigurado. Amin tayo dito, imay tayo nga si Pupuso. Nagapo tayo, tinaduma-duma nga ili. Akas makitakmat. Ada tinagapo ti Buntok, ada nagapo ti Sablan, ada nagapo ti Kailokanwan. Kun, dito ay kabinggitan mo't lang. Salamat tayo may kayo apo. Uno ba, nikastakat ang kayo nga madandanagan kuma. Tawo rin o hantay nga mga mga paltog. Suruhan tayo rin ta. Siyak ni Lieutenant Velasco, tumulong ko na kayo. Sapay ko ma, ay parik na yun, tirispito. Ijay training tayo. Nawatan tayo ko ma di ay, kakabsat. Yes, sir. Salamat. They just taught us how to hold arms, how to fire, and how to defend ourselves, cold bayonet, fighting and also some kind of self-defense, hand-to-hand self-defense. Importante iti panagurnos, iti buwan, iti panagtaktakdar tayo. Kapano nga magulo, iti kasta tayo nga agasasaw. Okay, noimbagak nga. Ag-form kayo, form a line. Ag-linya kayo, iti pasango dito eh. Namatan nyo. Okay. Form! Form! Ay, man baka man na rin yun, no? Tell na! Man dilitso! Man dilitso! Man! Man dilitso! Hey, whoa, hi.
malam asim bulan dah kami ngai ada aku ijai ngak pakit meraung kami ijai ag historia kapset panunutan teu koma ngarad dai tu inga paltog kathang abasta-basta dai tu tiga puna tapno mabiag dagiti tao nga mabiag tayo nung dai tu mutlang timang dadaal isu nga pangasi teu koma Hanteong ay tututok iti sibilyan. Ima itutok tayo lang iti kalaban. No manan. Tinaltugan nyo ti kalaban. Hanteong kuma nga dublion nga patayon. No natay isunan han nyo pala nga dublion nga patayon. Ta inayan. Inayan dai ta ure kas kas ano. Respeto nyo. Ta isutin susurun ti lalakay tayo. Tiap apo tayo. Isu nga ibang bagak kada kayo pangasio, an kayo nga agloko loko. Sa sayatan tayo trabaho tayo, tento no malpas kada data yung asibibiyag, koko ata yung silubong. Kuna na. Pangasio kuma, pati respeto tayo kuma, ti may sakon may sak. Respetuhan tayo, ti opisyalis tayo. Kanda kiti lalakay. Tanod na tayo, mat kuma, ti lumakay. Marik na tayo, ti respetuhan ti anak tayo. At sabay kuma, tadyay nga training tayo, adati na adal yo. Sasabat tayo, lumakay tayo nito, sisinabat tayo matlaan. Before that, we were civilian informers, civilian employees as informers before we were inducted because we were advised by Lieutenant Makuling that it's better that you be inducted. So that we had to pass through sentries, Japanese sentries. So we tried to find the yai han nga pagnaan kita o. Food! I'm here to deliver food! Yes, there was even one time that we uh, we we walked from Kapangan all the way, passing through the shortcut uh, to Blay, and then coming up to Wangal, and then up to Binang. With the above is a certification by the chapter adjutant of our activities as intelligence informer assigned to I Company, 3rd Battalion, 12th Infantry, Philippine Army, Yusafib NL. Until transferred to the hospital company, as we could not enter Baguio City due to strict inspection by Japanese sentries along the road. When we were wanted already, we had to transfer to the hospital company, where we do not have to go to Baguio to gather intelligence reports. The order to go, no sin adat is by adamant at the mang ko kada ko da tata ko na dangarod masapul nga ma. Ma eliminate the guitar spice.
Who are you? Who are you? Kamu bik teman ya, mau jago buat aje. Sabar aku mata, mau dia kerja dah bawa mun mat. Mut kau dulu dia ni raja tenen mut cuit mudi dah sak sak tan. Mau dia kau makan yang kabun jangan ya, tan. Dati naga po nga informasyon na naga po kada kiti intelligence unit tayo. So, sigurado, mausar ng mausar dito yung mga dalan. So, tikas ta tayo. Set up tayo ti ambush. Set up tayo dito yung banda. Nakawatan nyo! Sige, kuhan ko yung deposition yun. Saga na tayo. No almas ya, kaya salam tayon man, mabuhon ka Japanese ta, kaya salam tayon man, patok, no bilang ni patok ya, mung siguradok ta patok ya ta, man, yung bulat mat, dapat audition man si man ni Australia, dapat audition di nila lang makator, siguradong dua, siguradong bulat ngay, siguradong galot ta, si man, arut. Buat ke kita ke sini kan?
Somewhere in November, di na kuatiliti, ada nang ituro ti armas ito yung kuwa diri ngayon. Isu da dya ito yung si mga kakutan ti barong armas nga ordo ka nga kompleto kas lang nga timur mati garilya. Idi 1945, namin talon nga in may ti shipment ti armas ito yung ado mati kuwa. Murder ng armas, adumati ammunition, adapay ti mortal, so yun ay nag-offensiven ti garilya na turadamatan nga ako hanan nga agroom namang. Ang tarasa man, ang tarasa na yan nung ta sinakbatan baksa ang bulatan alay din. Eh, dadabada kay. Ang langga kong kot ng almas ni. Ang tarasa nga sa yan ngay. Sulit! Na! Eh! Kau leh tak minat adulon main? Ay, kurang. Nah, apa? Ay, kurang. Kurang boleh entah. Nabi kan? Hey, bungat. Wah, apa? Ang tu fai. Oi, si Garilio. Saya berantuk kan? Ay, si Alriton. Kurang apa? Kurang apa? Tertarake fai muan. Ay, tertarake fai muan. Oh, oh, mampai toh. Special return. Nan pak oh. Oi. Nan tu kan tanja. Kurabie. Kurabie. Eh, urai. Segera itu tentang madu. Mana tanwa yang muda gede ah? Membuat ngaruh tu nase bokman. Nah, membuat. Pau itan teh hono lah orang. Nanti pau teh hongai. Ayai. Tan. At tan bungat. Nan pak oh. Nak nak tunggu beran gaya ngai, dia pakai tayar mulut ban. Wiremen, ah wiremen, sampai semua. Ya. I joined the guerrilla unit, which is the 66th Infantry Regiment, in October 1944. Was inducted November 2, 1944, at Camp Utopia. Kapangan. We were trained for more than more than a month as medics under the command of Major Major Nebris. Then, from 28 November 1944 to September 1945, we were now transferred to the hospital company, First District, under Captain Narvaez. The hospital was formed. We have to leave Camp Utopia and uh, and went to Tabao Kapangan. There we built a hospital made of uh, bamboos, woods, vines, and uh, runo leaves. And with the help of uh, civilian volunteers, bullmen, the hospital was built. It's called Hospital Company 66 Infantry, USAP FNL. Because I was not a nurse yet, we were attendants only. So we were made to take uh, temperatures. We uh, bathed the patient. So they taught us how to give uh, simple treatments and even to give uh, injections <laughs> because uh, of the lack of personnel. The hospital is under the command of uh, Captain Narvaez with, the, with his staff of doctors and nurses and enlisted women and uh, men under the command of uh, First Sergeant Julio Bulislis. We began treating wounded and sick soldiers and civilians alike. We have to build more huts to accommodate more patients. Significant uh, mission assigned to this 66 infantry were the evacuation of the first lady, Mrs. 
Osmania and the family of the son uh, Sergio Osmania Jr. from Irisan to Kapangan. This was assigned to E and B Company of the First Battalion. Ni, Os ni President Osmania, he is in the in the U.S. Kung di family na isulat din naman din sa Philippines, iso nga, ipsiputan lang ang tiyapon. Iso nga, umay na tibagyo, no kahit da, pagsubli naman tiyay Manila, no kahit da, nang iyay Osmania family. Kinontak mi iso di iyay Mansion House. They make me as a runner from our hiding place, coming up here and bringing some letters to those who are in prison. Jai, and that the card na kastaga, I shall return ko na ni Jai. Na Jai tida mo nga kwa, ni i-deliver kada kwa di Jai Mansion House. And brought that letter to Mrs. Osminia. So lang ti ni i-deliver Jai nga damo. Na Jai di nagrogyan ti kontak ti girilya kin ni First Lady. Tatan titulagan ni Jai magnada ti nagiliran rod. Ng ipirmiso dati ko ah hapon, hapon mi orain iya ay along nagilian nun. Hindi ipirmiso dati hapon, kung nati hapon nga oh nagilian nun, nagilian nun, mini guerrilla, kanon nun. Hindi kasya tinara mi naga subli di Jay Mansion House, another contact manen nambaliwan. Bumawadi Jay kanon nun, tadan to nagsubli dia leunyun. Inalami iso ni Ijay uh, Irisan. There is a letter that uh, they will go out already and that we will send again to meet them here at uh, Irisan. At, uh, do you know that uh, Kwan Lamtang, that uh, place of uh, uh, cockfight? There we meet him. We, a company who brought them there as security. Kargaan mi mata, karga kami mata, tumulong kami ya sibilyan nga sa karga pi manta ko. During night time, magmagnada. In bring them up to Kapangan. Ta gusto nga ang tuturo rin dyan, kas titi ka unag tipitak i jay trail nga eh. Hindi gusto nga, da kami jay ting nga tipag naan, agong komplain ko na nga agsublida. Kung namot ni Junior nga lakay na, no kahit mga agsubli, agsubli ka nga may may isa. Pakipanak ka rin ito eh, apay. No, mabiyag na ito yung nga igurot. Ang tayo mo't nga agbiyag. So nga may papilit nga we have to carry. Through a stretcher, improvise a stretcher. After so many days, nga nag-rest di ay sangrila. Mga kampumi, nga B Company. Na i-transfer di ay general headquarters, di ay Camp Utopia. Where Colonel Bukman and Major Dangwa, Colonel Calvert, Major Molintas, with their around in the general headquarters to break them down. Idi nalibres di San Fernando in Salog de Isudan. Kasi niya po Diyos, nakiparticipi sa kanya ng akon ni Osminia. Awan di ko ah, successful na niya ng operasyon. Landing tiling kayo, sunod niya ay naorderan T-66 nga ko. Nga po kanong tayo T-66. Dati bagyo T-11 ito na, binggit, bagyo. 66 na orderan da. Naorderan T-37 Division ng U.S. Army. Nga kadwa da nga ag-liberit ito eh. Now that we have ammunitions, 
take courage. We will engage the enemy in Binalonan down to San Nicolas, then into Sorobio. From there, we will proceed to Sison and to Nabayo. We shall push through to Canyon Road, penetrate it through to Baguio City. We shall clear that road so that we can push to Baguio City. Is that understood? But the president, the commander-in-chief, was not so sure. In a meeting at Hawaii in 1944, we go from here, Douglas. Shall it be Formosa or the Philippines? In the discussion with Admiral Nimitz and the President, there were many urgent military reasons for the choice presented. And one less tangible reason for going into the Philippines presented by MacArthur. On moral grounds, we had to return to support the Filipinos, our allies and friends. The decision was made. General MacArthur, who renews a pledge? Two years ago, when I landed on your soil, I said to the people of the Philippines whence I came, I shall return. Tonight, I repeat those words. I shall return. Next, the landing. These were varied, unpredictable. In each case, the selection was dictated by strategy rather than by sympathetic terrain. Allied men and ships converge on the Philippines, on Luzon. Through Surigao Strait they come, sailing westward into the Mindanao Sea and thence across the Sulu Sea. Through Mindoro Strait and north into the South China Sea up along the west coast of Luzon and into Lingayen Gulf. It is January, 1945. January 7th, the horses of Lingayen uh, were thrown all over here, more than 300 ships, about 240,000 soldiers. January 9, the total force came in here from uh, San Fabian up to the west coast there. They came in, and the Japanese zeroes, the kamikaze planes, started bombing and firing at the ships all over, including the landing forces. But the kamikaze was not able to successfully stop the invasion. As the invasion force came in, Civilians were all over here. People of the Philippines, I have returned. By the... We were called to join the Sixth Army in Baknotan. There, we were assigned to join them, fight the enemies from Burgos to Baguio. The liberation of Baguio City from the Japanese was a combined operation of the Philippine forces by the 66th Infantry and the American 33rd, 37th, and 43rd Infantry Divisions, U.S. Army. I was commanding the 1st Battalion of the 66th Infantry and attached to the 33rd American Army Division, and we started up from Libis, below Burgos, 
and prep up the Naginan Road. I was with the Company A uh, with Lieutenant Gamuning and Steban here going up to the 33rd Division. And from a scene, another company was accompanying the 32nd Division. And another company coming up from Taloy led by Lieutenant Suelio. And Lieutenant Fadlen is the uh, commander of the mortar section. These three groups were all going up to Baguio. As we were getting sniper shots from Mirador, mountain gun from Lourdes and Dominical, and Quezon Hill on the left side. So we're all pressed against this side, moving forward, slowly, until we reach the checkpoint about 8, 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. April 26, 1945, but tomorrow is the Emperor's birthday, April 27. So it is better if we enter the city during the Emperor's birthday to give it a more psychological impact So two companies uh, came through here, led by Lieutenant Gamuni of Company A and Lieutenant Juan of Company B. And they went through the mountains to free Trinidad, while the rest of us went up the Nagilden Road. It took the companies about five days to be able to capture Trinidad because of the mountain guns and the machine guns of the Japanese. It took them five days to be able to reach Trinidad. When we reached here, we were already almost emotional because this is our city and we participated in the liberation of the city where we were born. This one, if you notice, say, was liberated by the 1st Battalion Chick Chick Infantry, that arm. And the 129th Infantry Regiment, 3rd Division, coming from Asin. But the 33rd Division here was with us coming from Nagilian. The tanks moved out first and we followed a little distance behind the tanks through Abanao and then Station Road up to the April 1945, the U.S. Army uh, instructed the 66th Infantry Guerrillas to do some intelligence work in Baguio to find out where the Japanese soldiers are staying in the city. And so our intelligence men went inside the city and started listing where the Japanese. They were scattered all over the city. Uh, we told the people to go to the mountains because Baguio will be bombed. We didn't realize though that the Americans did a carpet bombing. 
a carpet bombing it, all the planes flying in formation, they just drop bomb, 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 bomb. And the whole city was flattened, except the cathedral, the Plaza Hotel behind Chongsan Bazaar, the city hall, and all of these were flattened. Just one whole wreck. Natay tiyo, may isang ng pamilya ka karuba ni Lara. The whole Lara family, Mrs. Lara, dua ng daughter na, kain may isang taragan ng ulit na bumbada natay na. I mean, when we arrived here with Lieutenant Steban, with a jeep and a personal carrier loaded with medicine and food. We went around here. This place was all ground, no concrete structures. And we went to that portion there, and both sides and at the back, there were holes uh, created by bombs. And the people used that hole as their fuck zone. They covered it with uh, plywood or uh, GI tin feet and stayed there in the holes all over here because they knew that Americans were ordered not to bomb the cathedral. So a lot of people came here around the cathedral to seek safety. And when we reached that portion there, there was nobody staring. They were still hiding in their shanty. And I started saying, Bumangon kayo nalpastigeran. And then Rufino Pugal, a classmate of mine in the Mountain Province High School, came out and I saw me and said, Oh, what the Nimanum thing? I want in Tigeran. Then they started to come out of the hobos and shanty, all rushing to where we were, started hanging and kissing. And uh, when I told them there's a truck of medicine food, they went there in a no time at all. The medicine, the food disappeared. And uh, here's where mother also met me here. She was disheveled and dirty, no slippers, and uh, we embraced. Uh, but I had no time to talk with my mother because a, a captain came to me, American captain, and said, Lieutenant, you are under arrest. Why? For distributing GI can goods to the civilians, which is not allowed. But I told him, uh, Captain, please understand that uh, I am from the 66th Infantry, and uh, this is my city. So please understand that I came here to really help these people, most of whom I know, because they need food and medicine. And the captain of the CIC said, okay, just this time you are excused. And then a soldier came running to me, an American soldier asked me to please help them in fighting the Japanese who were somewhere around the junction of uh, Leonard Wood Road and Balatok Road, uh, going to Tuding. And so we had to leave the people all jumping with joy and shouting and crying. The raging of the flood here in Janhei, the American flag on the left and the Filipino flag on the right. The veterans were all lined up at the back, and the regular soldiers were lined up here, American and Filipino soldiers. We lived in Tartuba on April 26, 
We also liberated Baguio on the next day, 27. Liberated Trinidad on May 3. All the first, second, and third battalions were camped around Baguio, Jukang Jante, in La Trinidad. Then, the last day, liberation of Baguio and Trinidad, we rest for 24 days. We were called to come to La Trinidad. So the 66 infantry was regrouped at Pico Road. In the June 1st, we were detached from the 7th Division. We were able to come to the Madu Unit of Yosef NL. We were able to come to the 66th and we were able to come to the 66th and we were able to come to the 1 to 1. An American uh, convoy, the Yellow Ball Express, composed of six by six, ferried us down to Libtung, Lukusor, where we embarked. But we shall go and reinforce the 15 with the 121 in Bisang. And then after we ate our lunch there, we were told to proceed hiking towards uh, Batak, Ilikosor, not knowing that we were going to uh, Bisang Pass to engage the enemy, where the 121st Infantry was nailed down because uh, the Japanese were on top of the mountain. That's the, what they call the Hell 99W. Yamashita realized that the Cordillera region would be a good place to put up a strong defense. The Americans also knew the capability of the people of the mountains. So that here in Binget, where the 66 infant or 66 infantry was organized, the Americans believed that it is proper that the Igorots, the Binget people, would be tapped as soldiers. On June 5th, we were assigned to climb up the 99W. But before the 66 could attack, because uh, when the first battalion, the A Company, went to survey the area, it was impossible to attack from the front. Lieutenant Akya, in the candidate, improvised the map, and he said that it was Japan. He was studying, so he planned to advance the Jengato. So when they went around, it was a precipice. So when they attacked, they were going to attack. No, si Kai, katak-takan. Bisto kas na. Ngunit ngakit kito yan ay si Kao si. Si Kai di mangitalisin granada si Kao yan ya. Man pa ka nawanta ko. Umatot ako ya. Adit ako pa lang man papaputok. Masaranta ko din bayonet. Ang atiplano ni Lieutenant Akya, ng 66 Infantry, nag-advance da. Diyan nga to, na silent. Atakan da, dagit ang machine guns, tunnel tayo hapon. Ijay, ijay bak. Idi mapanjay jay ngato. Awan te pagnan da. Tabat batu gayan da jay kwa. Awan te pagnan ngada duma. Tingkas ta tida duma. Tingkas ta da ijay batu nga kenal ayat da. Kas labu iskaun. Tumak leo si di. Asin ka tumuk duta. Uwe pan patungan da. Kumalak na lah. Mga chi. May si mapali. One on top of the other. So the members of the A Company strategically use human ladders. Until the last one reached the top and hold on a branch of the tree. So they say in a takarda, they say 
Well, I saw them on a pal pal talk silent. When everybody was attacked, they attack from behind the enemy. So the enemy were caught unaware. By unit in Angalan, they just have on tano pal talk. From where they just have on all the tano. So that's how Hell 99 was captured by the 66 infantry in six days. June 14, Bisang Pass in Tirad Pass was liberated. When report reached the general headquarters, that's when uh, Colonel Murphy pounded his table, saying, I knew the 66 can do it. From Bisang Pass was cleared up, we went down to Comillas, Lokosov. When the, the remnants of the Japanese retreated towards Cervantes. So we were in hot pursuit to do retreating Japanese towards Cervantes. The regimental headquarters of the 66 put up their headquarters in Comillas. When uh, Comillas was uh, cleared, we proceeded to Mangkayan. And Bookman told the 66 to operate alone. The order the Bookman, uh, the 15th Infantry, Mapan Ijai Cervantes via Kayan. And the 21st Infantry, Agrish dah, tawan matan, kurang dan, na aduti natai. The sixty-six infantry alone will operate from Comillas to Lepanto, Mangkayan to Abatan. But until we reach Lepanto, that's where we were held at B for almost the whole month of July. Before. The attack of Lepanto Mines, uh, there was an intelligence information stating that uh, the Japanese had started the construction of bunkers, pillboxes, and tunnels uh, since the occupation starting in the year 1942. The Japanese already have uh, identified places, strategic places, to put up their military garrisons or camps. They also had identified where to get the necessary resources for their growing industries in Japan. And since we are talking here about war, obviously the Japanese had to locate the uh, sources of metals and other minerals that they could use for the production of weapons and armaments. Because they operated the Lepanto mines, it was operated by the Mitsui Mining Company, wherein they have been extracting um, copper, ore, copper and gold ore and transported them to Poro Point. They have more than enough time to construct their defenses. So uh, it is believed that this Lepanto is a impregnable fortress in one of the defense lines of the Japanese forces in the, the East Asia, or say Far East. As you see at my back, uh, which is the stone wall, uh, represents the uh, dismantled and abandoned uh, Asai uh, laboratory building. Uh, constructed by the uh, Japanese soldier during their uh, three years stay here since 1942 to 1945. Uh, this structure is located within the, the uh, Tamangan uh, portions part of Sapid. A similar structure can also be found uh, at the mill site area, which is part of uh, the Lepanto community. After uh, the order of Colonel Bukman, 
to attack Lepanto. The 66th Regiment made already their plans to apply the pincer assault. No man, may ask for kato si Bugias. Kato siya lang tayo man, ang dapat ito man. Tuntog. From Bagoyos, the 2nd Battalion was ordered to take the left flank while the first battalion will take the right flank in the vicinity of Cavite and Namandiran. The third battalion will take the center line. The start of the attack started at Kapaku uh, proper. The three companies of the uh, third battalion were divided into three sections. The K Company taking the center line, the B and A Company taking the left, while I Company took the right. When the assault began, it was the B and A Company who started uh, the advance upon reaching the northernmost point of Corus Hill. They were met by BP machine gun and mortar fire. This is the foot of Colos uh, Hill, uh, where the first battalion first engaged the Japanese uh, forces, and then later on, uh, relieved by the third battalion in the assault of Colos Hill. The Japanese uh, defenders were at the advantage because they were on the upper hill, the guerrillas are uh, fighting an uphill battle. So the Japanese could just, just throw and roll their grenades without even firing their guns, they just rolled their grenades. Uh, that caused the heavy casualties incurred by the third battalion. Uh, operation to uh, Mangkayanan ang ganay di abatan ito nga sinukatan ni Bukman ni Molintas ni Colonel Udi ito na kabil na naikwan na commander to 66 infantry So Jai, ini nabiaya kami Jai turun batalion. Inung ungtang kanon ni Kenan Odi ni Molintas. You say your boys, what are they doing? They are doing nothing. Nain sultanat ni Molintas. So Jai, ini Napan ni Momentas ni Jai Na danunan na ni Colonel Badibal Lucing Badibal Kenapa yang kau tunggu ni yang harap itu jauh Punan ni Medyo Momentas nga Apa yang nga bayar kau itu Angkai nga malalis Punan ni Badibal nga Sir You cannot move Because the soldiers are dying, Unana. Was la manok nga matmatay. Sir! Satiga to di ba kaya sa tawag mo niya? Sir, makita siya manok! Alam mo kami, sir, 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 sir! At kung namat ni Molintas, it's good that you are here. If you are not here, I'm going to shoot you. Medyay. 
Jadi kami ni bagan ni punin ah kondel udeng ah ya duit nanti. The third battalion advanced further to Kulus proper. When the K Company reach the point near the the cemetery, they were again met by sniper fire from the Japanese that were entrenched among the tombs at the cemetery. Where I'm standing now is the Colos Hill Cemetery, where the 3rd Battalion have suffered heavy losses. The Colos Hill is overlooking San Roque, where uh, one of the pillboxes is located. So, this pillbox here is one of the three pillboxes manned by Japanese uh, forces commanded by Colonel Furumi. This pillbox is located here at San Ruki, Lepanto, Mangkayan Benguet. This structure is uh, uh, one of uh, the three uh, pillboxes constructed by the Japanese soldiers and it is uh, located uh, within the the vicinity of uh, Tamangan, a part of Barangay Sapid, Mangkayan Bingit. This structure is approximately uh, four to five meters in height, octagonal in shape. Diameter, it is approximately three meters. And for the thickness of the wall, it is approximately 18 inches. This pillbox was captured by the K Company, 3rd Battalion of the 66th Infantry. This was captured prior to the advance at Kolos Hill. Uh, this toolbox formed the perimeter defense of Kolos Hill. It is now submerged after it was uh, bulldozed by the company. So after the capture of that toolbox, the 3rd Battalion began ascending this hill towards Kolos proper. It is here where heavy losses were incurred by the A and B company and the K company of the 3rd Battalion. I was wounded uh, on the third day of July 1945 below Mankayan at the Hill of Cross. There is intelligence information revealed, revealing that there are 2,000 Japanese soldiers that will defend Lepanto, defend Lepanto against the advancing 66 forces. To our surprise, we only found about uh, two at Cross and two at La Huerta. So we were wondering where the 2,000 Japanese soldiers were. It Therefore, that within this tunnel, when they can no longer hold their defenses, they move inside the tu tunnel until it was uh, sealed by the explosion. After that, we proceeded further again to Mangkain Town proper, where the 3rd Battalion were again met by heavy machine gun and, and mortar fire from Laban Hill.
Actually, the third battalion, and that I think I mentioned now, 35 casualties in one day. 17 to wounded, uh, 19 to natay. Nakitanggang is mo, the J, the Siakti my son in Kodanga and Vigil, Kadagi J. 19 na Nabugun, that they fought. Ulus da Sato, Naira Bauti Fonso Rinko, Adamanti Tagda. Agur Urai, the collecting platon, Nafan Mangala Kadapada. Jedua, so the Abana Suja, the Gijaban. There in Lepanto, it is where we suffered um, many casualties. Almost uh, the report recorded uh, 280 casualties. There in Lepanto, in mines, where the Japanese have been building their pale boxes for their hideouts for three years was captured by the 66 alone in 27 days. Lepanto was cleared, Mount Payan already is cleared. So we have to proceed it to kilometer 90 already. After Lepanto, again, we were fast advancing towards uh, Soyo and then going up to kilometer 90. Uh, at that day, with the 15 infantry, Magapuy Jai Bunto, the 66 infantry, Magapuy Te Mangkayan, the 37 division, U.S. Army, Magapuy Jai Mountain Trail, and that they contest Ijai no Sinuti, Muna nga, Adumanun Ijai Abatan, and then Istiwan Ijai, Masang Plato Leader, the Company E. So that the first, nga, the Manon Ejai Abatan. So the first was the 66 infantry. And then we followed the road going to Baguio, but at kilometer 76, we rendezvous with the 129th Infantry U.S. Army. We followed the Highway 11, that's a mountain trail. So we were told to backtrack to kilometer 90, going down to Lo'u Valley, and then going up to Bad Ayan Ridge. Mapante 66 Ijai, upon mang capture to Bad Ayan, in order to Colonel Tando. So, Napante Company C, Company A, na alanda to Bad Ayan. The first battalion went down to Lo'u, from 90 down to Lo'u. There were no Japanese there. They dig in their defense line in Badayan Hill. The Nalati Badayan, the Plano program, the 66 Magna Ijai from Badayan to uh, Tenok. 
at Bad Iron Ridge, that is where the ceasefire was uh, ordered by higher headquarters. When the Japanese surrendered already, have to bring them from Bugias. We have to walk because we don't have uh, enough uh, truck to load them. They have to walk from kilometer 90 up to train, up to here, Bagyu. Come Chanhe, that in Ipopokan language Japanese, and bring them down again. Now in a Navy launch, the Japanese surrender party arrives. They are headed by Agent Mamoru Shigemitsu, Foreign Minister of the Japanese Surrender Cabinet. The Japanese delegation lines up on the opposite side of the surrender table from the Allies. Mr. Shigemitsu comes to the surrender table. The time is 9.05 a.m. General Yoshijiro Umetsu of the Imperial General Staff signs for the Japanese Army. General MacArthur signs as Supreme Allied Commander. When the carpet bombing was started in Baguio, Japanese ships started to withdraw towards mountain trail. And we did a pincher movement so that the Yamashita troops were holed up and encircled by three divisions. That is when, in August 14, the Emperor announced the unconditional surrender of Japan. And on September 2nd, 1945, Yamashita surrendered, came out of Asin Valley, Kiangan. Well, I was five years old when there were word that Yamashita surrendered in Ginda, Kiangan. So we went there and I saw him come riding on a weapons carrier escorted by military trucks full of American soldiers, and then another truckload of Japanese officers, the, his aides, and the generals who were closest to Yamashita. The rest of the Japanese forces had to walk. Then he was brought and lifted to Luna La Union, and then was brought by a heavily guarded motorcade to Baguio, and he signed the unconditional surrender here in Northern Luton. The surrender of the Japanese forces in the Philippines took place in the High Commissioner's residence, Tam Janhe, on September 3, 1945. On the Allied side of the long table were seated Lieutenant Jonathan Wayne Wright. We have Lieutenant Steyer, then Major General Edmund S. Levy, Lieutenant General A. E. Percival, Major General Wood, Major General Robert Biter, and at the corner was not a general, the head of the Yusafif, Colonel Russell Vokman. Right side of the table were General Muto, Yamashita's chief of staff. At the center is Lieutenant General Yamashita and Vice Admiral Okoichi. The Japanese panel first signed. And then to sign in for the Americans was Major General Edmund S. Levy. So it was Levy who accepted the surrender and who signed for the Americans. Remember boys, as a soldier, you have to be alert. Always thank and pray to Almighty God, wherever you are. I will always pray for you. May God bless all of you, in the name of the Father and of the Son, in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Christian soldiers marching us to war with the cross of Jesus going on before Christ the royal master is against the foe forward into battle sees banners go 
my experience was to believe in God during the war. As for me, my action is that I was able to survive the, the coldness of the Japanese Imperial Army. And in second is that I was able to survive the World War Number Two. And then I have to go back into happiness. Because during the Japanese occupation here in Bogus, there was no happiness at all. What you have in mind is to run away when you see Japanese uh, army coming inside. 1945. I got rid of the shell. 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 I got rid of Think of our uh, hardships, our uh, our stay on top of the mountains during the guerrilla time, like that. Because when we were uh, on top of the mountains, uh, going away from the Japanese military army, we suffered heat, we suffered mosquito bites along the creek, and then we suffered uh, the lack of. Uh, Locking in front or locking after uh, beautiful ladies. Like this. There are many experiences of uh, wartime soldier, like uh, sickness, fear, bravery, hunger. The youth of today and the young generations, future generations to come, must know the uh, scores of war. While Igorot veterans were known for their human, humane, and gentle conduct of the war during World War II, they were also known for their valor and their bravery. For instance, uh, no other than General MacArthur himself acknowledged the Igorot's uh, bravery and courage when they climbed tanks in Bataan. They climbed Japanese tanks just to drop grenades, which uh, was never, never done by any other, other soldiers. Mm -hmm. Illuminate the darkness 
Cause be a souvenir to remind.